2020 has not been a kind year. It's been a year that preyed on the weak and the sick, a year that claimed lives and tested trust, a year filled with division and upended by chaos. It's been a year dominated by staggering loss of life across the world, but it's a world still filled with courage, compassion, and heart. Pandemics occur, they have always occurred and they will occur. It would be really shameful if we don't learn from what we've been through. Amidst tragedy, we learned that we know how to put others before ourselves. Despite resistance, despite pushback, we persisted. This is a world of resilience, a world propelled by the belief that overcoming the impossible is in fact possible. With the inspiration of innovation, we were once again reminded that nothing is out of reach and that we should shoot for the stars. Faced with the kind of viral enemy the world hasn't known for generations, we witnessed every day the true meaning of what it is to be a hero. Society reckoned with inequality and people took to the streets and used their ballots to make their voices heard. Let's stop thinking that our voice don't matter. That's right. Heroes have walked among us and will again. Records were shattered and barriers were broken. While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. We imagine a tomorrow filled with unity, not division. A tomorrow that delivers equality, long overdue. A tomorrow galvanized to tackle the world's great challenges. 2020 upended norms and our understanding of normal. It was a year no one could predict. But we've endured hard years before. We've endured tragedy before. And we emerge from those years stronger, wiser, better. And so it will be with this year, too. I really and truly are not... Uh, none of me, me, me ones them were close to me, very close to me. I don't see them pass where I are terribly sick because of this scourge upon the land. And meanwhile, people are doing all sorts of things, hoping that them don't catch it. Well, if people feel safe if them do this, them now will catch it if them do that. It now go contaminate them and all these things. Well, I know all the people did do this and I do that and still catch it. And as far as we see, them bring something else now to tell you, say, you see this thing, I know, this thing are going to prevent, prevent you from catch it. So we see a whole heap of country now, America, as a matter of fact, we see England just bring out a vaccine where it's like an ordinary vaccine. It don't need no cold storage and it don't need this and it don't need that. So they might go put it on the market maybe next week. And then we see the Russian, they might for them one thing. You know, so little more going to come like a tablet. Little more you can go in a pharmacy to go get it and go home and go choke yourself. So all those who I observe, everybody's supposed to observe, everybody say yes, make some people take it first, like all a million people take it and make us see what happened before them take it. And I guess that is in the hearts of most people, where they really want to take it, but they might say, no, they might beg, they might wait to see how much people are going to drop down dead, and how much people are going to start walk with them face, twist going around the other side of them face. Yes, that's how people stay. Meanwhile, the Jamaican daughter was the first one to take it. Go for her second one this week. Yes, yeah, she go for her second one this week. And so, as we say, everyone waiting. We say, Kamala Harris take for her own. We say, the president take for him own. We say, the vice president take for him own. We say, a whole heap of people. Them say, about two million people in America take it already. Them did not expect 20 million people for take it by the end of the year, but apparently Trump again make up certain things. And we see some people kind of get some 
sideburns. When we say sideburns, we mean, you know, side effects from it. Well, that is expected still. But, you know, people still, people, if them say a little side effect, I'm going to say, see, I tell you, I tell you, say, it this and it that. But every medicine with Dr. Gio have side effect. Every medicine. Yes, so, as we say, everybody I watch it. Everybody I watch it. Everybody I watch it on the sideline. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, say, America say, look here. Me not give nobody my things until all of my people, them, is all right, you know. I got them, I say, and I guess most countries are seat away the too. Even the British people, them, them, I say, them all take care of them when before them, I say, they go to some third world country, like even Jamaica. So I guess we now nah, go see this come out Jamaica until I'm the middle of the year. But I don't know it's going to work out because just like how them have yellow fever, card, when you're going to a certain country, them are going to have a card, like a yellow fever card. That's if you are traveling, you have to go show it. Yes, if you have to show it, you have to go show it. And it's not an unusual thing, even though people see it as part of the whole whatsoever they must see it as. Because we have passport and we can't travel without the passport. We have visa. If you don't have a visa in your passport, you can't travel without the visa. You have yellow yellow fever card. If you have a certain place in Africa, in Africa, if you not if you don't have the yellow card, they might say you can't come into the country. It's just another card they might add to the whole madness. You know, see, I do the whole madness because I them create the thing and they know them can't stop it now. So, they have to put certain things in place. And when they put in place, you know, it's a card where entire you go take a flight, if you land in our country, you're not only have to go show your passport, but you have to go show your, 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 your card, your vaccine card, so you take the vaccine. And that is the problem that all the people have with these things. That it's going to tell you, say, you're free enough if you don't take it, but if you don't take it, you can't make certain move. And we hope, say, a whole heap of people recognize how weird and serious it is. But what me say? Me say, people are watch people for see what happened to them before them really take it. And that is really what happened. They are watch for see what happened. So, all of the sideline, just go and watch. But meanwhile, don't be contentious about it. You understand? It's not a political thing. It's not a political thing where because a man will wear mask, him, him, him sell out. <laughs> you know? Because a man take the vaccine, him, him, him about to Babylon. You know? No. People are protect themselves and them feet that are going to protect them. They are going to take it. It's simple. A whole heap of people say they not take it. And when them say, a whole heap of people take it. They just go and go take it. And have two million people take it in America. And we don't know how much people take it in England and all these ways. So it's not something where we go preach to people where I say, don't take it, don't take it, don't take it. If a man want to take it in free, you know, see it. And we know say a whole heap of one who say, why it are poison and poison. You may go realize I'm going to take it because I'm going to go away. I'm going to fly out. You know, see, you have ways to go around that still, but we have to wait to see how they are going to do it first before we institutionalize the go around it. You know, because, you know, say America, I think, a Germany, a Germany, yeah, Germany you now, I say, yes, they are going to keep a tap on all the people them who it against the vaccine. Yeah, they are keep a tap on everybody who is against the vaccine. And they might charge some doctors, a portion of doctors who say the COVID nine, the COVID nineteen is a hoax. <laughs> it's it, 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 it not real. They might they might go try them in a court for spreading false news. I don't know if them think they have in Germany, but I doubt them say. So people have to know what they're doing at this time. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're gonna just be happy, you know. Yeah, man, what do you mean? We're going to happy, we're going to listen to music, we're going to eat good food, make sure so we eat the right food, make sure so we have little money in our pocket. Because right now, I want to first know if you have little money in your pocket, you know. Because if you don't have little money in your pocket, you can't buy the right food, you know. You're going to go down to Kentucky and Burger King 
same way and you have to go buy some little food in the in a, in a the whole heap of supermarket food them where come from foreign when no good for you. You know, the dry food them and all them thing there. And that no good for you. So we have to make use of where we have yes or you know see it and if we can complement it with things where we, where we get from foreign in the supermarket. So be it. You know see it. And we ask the people who are selling the food them in the market. When you don't go on like say the earth are gonna end Rasta. And you know, you know, make the food so much that now that when Saturday done and market day done, you still have the food and it have a rotten and you don't know them food there. Can I remember when me used to live a bush? You have some people plant carrot and go down a man to go be a market go sell the carrot. And when Saturday evening come, them going to the supermarket go buy tin carrot juice. Can you imagine that? Tin carrot juice. Why would I want to plant carrot and go buy tin carrot juice? But that's the way of the mind of the people them. I mean, I say, we are ask the people them who are selling the food them, Rasta. We know so now look some money off of the madness we are going on, but we never spoil up on ourselves. Because if we don't sell the food to the other people, we're going to the food and go in a supermarket and go buy foreign food. We're much cheaper. Because, I see, the other day we don't turn there and we just, my wife will shout out to the car, how much a poor people to me to be with me and who man ball out. Seven hundred dollars, I say, rotten. No, we can't forget about tomato. <laughs> we can't forget about tomato. We reach out, we say, a man just bring up calabash and tomato come give me. You know the way, eh? I know so. But, we never, it's, it's the first of my ban. First of my ban. I hear something that sells for seven hundred dollars in the market. When we say something, I mean something. Me never hear nothing. No food in the market ever sell for seven hundred dollar a pound. Never, ever, ever. It's a lucky thing. Seven hundred dollar only for yam and all. Some of them here, woman, I talk about four hundred dollar a pound and three hundred dollar a pound for yam. I don't know if I throw a Christmas why them do that still, but cho, you know, you know, for go on better than that, still, you know, you know, for go on better than that. Believe me, you know, go on for better than that because seven hundred pound, seven hundred dollar a day. <laughs> Why we I tell you? Because you are out. Them know to them now eat the tomato, you know. Because them either go buy some white rice and chicken back. Or them go buy some white rice and some flour and thing and, 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 and give them picnic to eat. And them eat it said we. So the, 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 the fullness of food is not amongst the, 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 the so-called ghetto people. Most ghetto people not, 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 not pick and choose what they might eat certain way. You know, see, if you start to tell them if you eat certain food, they might tell you, say, them food are too dear. And it's lie. It's lie. If you eat certain food, when they might say, you, you eat, it's not dear. You know, see, it's because you eat food where it, it's, you think it's cheap, but in the long run, it costs a whole heap of doctor bill. A whole heap of doctor bill for you. And you need to figure it out. You need to figure it out. Because some people can't eat Kalalu unless it's a Sunday morning. Yet still, Kalalu is a great, 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 great food. Will it chlorophyll? Dark green vegetable, will it chlorophyll at night? And that is good. And if you have all the juice, you put all the Kalalu in there and juice it. And take a little tip, you know, with a whole glass full with ice. Like you drink lemon here. You know, see it. But Kalalu. Cheap and no, no, that Mr. Kalalo, no, Papa, man, I put up jack up the Kalalo price now. <laughs> Why? All you gotta eat is either Rasta. You know, see it. No, Kalalo pop chow. Them simple little vegetable way in the, in the, 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 the market. Market. The people, them not eat the food with them at sell. Unless a yam and cocoa and dashing and green banana and them something like. You know, I plant some pumpkin at the end. The man, the, the man who I help you apply, I say, you know, I have some punk. I say, no. I ask the poor and the next door, I say, if you want some punk, I say, no. I say, no, no, eat punk. I say, no. They don't eat punk. Punk is a serious food where it, 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 it can't serve for no people. No people, but they prefer to go to the shop, go buy a pound of white flour and knead up the flour and a little more, all three days, they don't go to the toilet. We need to figure it out. We need to figure out what is it that we need to fight this virus. Fight this virus. 
because we need some things in our system that prevent it from circulating our body. I will not say 100%, but apart from the mask and washing your hand and social distance, you need to do something in your house, in your house, with your family. You know, certain things where you use are you run from through your, your, you say, well, a long time you know you ginger. No, sir, I mean, the ginger thing is too hot. Ginger. Ginger. Yeah, ginger. Ginger is that thing where we can't have enough of. You know, see, what if people do every look pan ginger when they go to the market? Uptown people see the ginger and buy it. Look here how dear it is. But maybe now that I talk about the ginger, ginger price gone up tomorrow now. I just saw it go. Ginger is a good thing. Good, good, good thing. We don't know people know about bird pepper, but now people call it cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is a good thing. Good thing internally and externally. Cayenne is a good thing. There's certain things that you need that it's in the market. And you pass it all the while, but you, you, you hide upon Ken, Kentucky fried chicken, finger licking good, and all these things. But Bill of Polipa, cholesterol, and what's the all, all it, all it, all it all, you, you just pass it. You know, see, it? we need to figure it out because we, it's only we can save ourselves. The government do have a clue. My boy, tough time, do have a clue. The last time we do an outside broadcast with them fitness thing, I, 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 <laughs> I hope him friend of Alice, you know. I'm going to bust tough time, you know. I'm going to bust pan tough time tonight. And maybe tomorrow I should have said it, you know. But I'm going to say it tonight, too. The Minister of, of Wellness, Health and Wellness, we do an outside broadcast with them up at Portland. So... We attack and we attack and we attack and him come over there now and we supposed to do an interview with him and we talk to him about health and wellness. When we don't talk, we see the man walk go over to the other side of the field. This is where him gone. Over the pork pit. <laughs> this is a thing about wellness in the Rasta. Them have pork pit in other place. And obviously the man I go over them and say, well, I see what, I see what. <laughs> oh, yes, I tell you, them people that do have a clue, them do have a clue about health and wellness. You think running up and down are the, are the, are the, are the greatest wealth, health, health you can do? As a matter of fact, if you read certain age of you run up and down, it will affect you more than if you see like a yard and I walk around the house. Yes, if you stay around the yard and walk around your house, it's better than if you run up and down all over the, the road with all them carbon monoxide and all the things that are blowing on your face and all them something there. You know, see, and a strain on your leg and all them things there. We need to deal with yourself. We need to deal with yourself because that is the only way we will get through with this thing here. You know, see, and I'm saying not everything is 100%. But at least you will go down trying. <laughs> yes, you will go down trying. Because that is what we are do. Go down. And I said, I will live up myself. Because we don't know. The minister is not even a doctor. He is a doctor, but not a health, not a doctor, medicine, medical doctor. He is not even a woman, man, a robot doctor, neither. You understand? So, protect yourself. Protect yourself because them now going to protect you. You have to protect yourself and your family and your friends. Give thanks to good friends. What me say? Me and the whole people you, them are saying, say, them, them not in a no friend business and this and this and that. Them not trust no man and all them something. They look here. Me have a whole heap of bridges where me trust. And a whole heap of sisters where me trust. You know see? So if you step on earth and you can't trust nobody, me don't know something wrong with you. Because maybe it's not them. It's the problem. It's you the problem. Because how can you live on earth with so much people there where you have to intermingle and mix with and then you say you don't trust nobody. 
You have some Christians that say, I'm going to God, them trust and all them something. You have some people that say, them trust God more than their woman. No, because I'm going to trust God more than my woman. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know, see, me, I say, trust is very important in health. And that me, I say, trust is very important in health. And if you get sick and being healthy and you get sick, you know, say, because of the environment you live in, uh, that is why certain things will take place. Because I said before, I'm going to say it again. No cure you try and try and try. There's something like an impediment in your way for prevent that health where you search for, that healthy lifestyle where you, you, you move towards. Because even the vegetable them, even the vegetable them now, full of poison. Even the vegetable them where you're buying at the market where you come from uh, St. Elizabeth and them place there, full of uh, 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 them poison business. But, but, it is better to eat what you think is healthy. And may I tell you, white rice, white flour, white sugar, uh, white bread, can healthy. And that is where them have poor people that live off of. Them have poor people that live off of them kind of food there. It's terrible, terrible. People feel say you have to be a you have to have enough money for be vegetarian. It's foolishness. Foolishness. Me live in a bush for much years. Me no see no money. And me I eat vegetables and this and that and that. You see some things when I go eat, I want to say, why me never know them can't them things they can't eat? Whole heap of things out they can't eat, you know. Whole heap of things out they can't eat. But no 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 one now will say, no, something I eat that you're mad. That them a claim. But me, I tell you, say, if we didn't want to do the right thing, the right thing is in front of way. If we want to do the right thing, the right thing in front of way. It's just simple. It's just simple. So much things the wrong way. So much things the wrong way. And we, we, we bypass it every day. And them things that can't help save your life. Yeah, man. Them things that can't help save your life. I mean, I claim no doctor business, no doctor this and no doctor that, because all of a sudden, a whole heap of bush doctor fly up all over the place, you know. Everybody a bush doctor, you know. Everybody a tell you we can prevent COVID. Everybody can tell you we stop COVID. I don't know what can stop it, but I know, say, there's certain things that you can use for your structure that can alleviate certain problems. And nowadays, everybody talking about the immune system. I just said that people start to have a... <laughs> I just said that people start to have a immune system, you know. Yeah, as it's March, everybody have an immune system. Oh, you must break down your immune... You must get to build up your immune system and your immune system. And the immune system, immune system. Immune system. A long time we are telling them, we never use the word immune system. But we are telling them, so watch out. Certain food just not good for eat. I have to eat certain food. You know, see, I have to have a one hundred percent. But make sure so the, the thing where you eat mostly is the thing where good for your structure. The thing where you eat mostly is must be good for your structure because we live in a society where no care where a man say him can one hundred percent nothing. You can one hundred percent nothing in a room, yeah. You know, see, because Rome set up them business, not for cater for we, not for cater for, for all we see things. Them have a system where them cater for bright lights with food. Food and bright light go together for them. That's why when you look at all Kentucky and them places, you see the brightest light, Burger King, all them places. I me know, see them huge, I don't know if them, 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 them advertise for an IRF, you know, but I know business. Because it's a dangerous place. And black people crowd it up, crowd it up. 24-7. Did you know that them say the Kentucky in Montego Bay make more money than any other Kentucky in the world? And the Burger King way in Africa tree make the most money in the world. How that possible? A little island. People line up there and line up there and line up there. You understand? And when you show them good food, when you with the good food, when you show them good food, I simply look like Kalalo. Kalalo. 
Poor people don't want to eat kalalo. Poor people don't want to eat kalalo. Because they must say a kalalo that. A kalalo and pop chow. Where you give me kalalo and pop chow? Concrete structure wall. Yeah, Mr. That already. I may not say it again. But, yes, this is. <laughs> this is the cutting edge. Miserable. <laughs> yes. But give thanks. Said those of you who said miserable still there. And it is really miserable for you, trust me. Yeah, man. Really miserable. So you yeah, know. We have this tune here where we play. We are playing now for nearly 30 years. For this one brethren. And that for sure how long the brethren are listening to the program. Yeah, man. Because every time him call me, it's this tune I'm going to hear. So we're going to play the tune. And for those of you who never hear it yet, listen to the, listen to the tune because it's right in line with the theme of the program where we are living. And when we play the tune, you know, we're going to take some phone call. Yeah, to make you get off 2020 off of your mind. Don't put it for me, do you know? <laughs> Don't put the, 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 the madness we have for you. For me, you understand? So, we're going to play the tune after the bridge. Della Reese, here we go. <laughs> Watch out for your friends Though they lose in the end Sometimes they try to make you sin But what is a man without a friend? Now we all live within this little game And the word excuse has many names And since true friends rarely come We can't afford to lose one And if all men are true That we are talking about. You saw the tune just fit right into the team of where we are working with. Yeah, man, the tune fit right in, but we just are talking about friend. Some people are saying, no, no friend, and friend this, and no friend that. No, man, you have to have friend, man. What do you mean? After you want to depend on the earth. Yes, Rom Lane. Good music. Fit right into the program. Start it over for the people then. Shall sing it clean and clear. Watch out for your friends Though they lose in the end Sometimes they try to make you sin But what is a man without a friend? Now we all live within this little game And the word excuse has many names. No for artist parts for this year. This are my Ocherius, Ocherius. Brethren. Well, so much man passed for this year, may I tell you, man, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So here we go now. We're gonna play them like a sticky in your feel. If you just awaken your levels, awaken your consciousness. This is the first one. Here we go. Hey guys, Dr. Ox here from DrOx.com. Today in this video, I'm going to share with you the eight medically based and evidence based reasons why you should be consuming coconut in some form every single day. And I'm constantly getting questions from about coconut oil on my Facebook page and on my website articles. People saying, "Well, I thought coconut was bad because saturated fat." And other people saying, I'm hearing coconut is the next superfood. Well, I am to tell you and here to confirm that coconut is the world's next greatest superfood. It has so many health benefits. And there are eight medically based reasons why you should be consuming coconut or coconut oil in some form. Number one reason you should be consuming coconut oil is that it increases fat loss within one to three months according to two recent 
medical studies. Reason being is coconut oil, 92% of coconut oil is made up of medium chain fatty acids. These medium chain fats aren't nine calories like most fats, they're eight calories, but it's a type of fat your body can burn as energy so it doesn't, it's not processed in your body like other fats. So you can actually burn this for energy while you're working out, while you're going through your day. Coconut oil increases fat loss, reason number one. Number two, according to a recent research study, in the Journal of, of Nutritional Biology, they actually found that coconut oil was extremely effective at reducing Alzheimer's risk. In fact, they, did, they researched 20 patients with Alzheimer's in, in this study, and they found that coconut oil reduced Alzheimer's symptoms. In fact, there is some research on the Internet, uh, a, an individual case study, where a medical doctor in Florida put her husband on coconut oil, a ketogenic diet with just coconut, for several months and actually reversed his Alzheimer's symptoms. You can look that up online yourself. So many benefits of coconut oil for boosting your brain health and reducing your risk of dementia and Alzheimer's-like symptoms. Third massive benefit of coconut oil is that it actually helps wounds heal faster. So if you have a cut or scrape, a lot of times people will go and put on things like Neosporin or some of these other chemicals. I'm telling you, I think coconut oil mixed with aloe vera is the best thing to put on cuts. Why is coconut oil so effective at, at, at wound healing? Well, really two things. One reason, though, is that it increases collagen production on your skin. Collagen is really those new healthy skin cells. It's what makes your skin toned and firm. Coconut oil actually helps with that. That's also why coconut is effective at reducing cellulite. That's true. It helps reduce cellulite with fat loss. You should use more coconut oil even on your skin in areas of cellulite. Number four reason you should use coconut oil is in a recent medical study, they found that it has antifungal properties. They put coconut oil on 52 different species of bacteria, bad bacteria, and it's been shown to reduce all of those, uh, all those different types of funguses, uh, specifically, though, candida albicans, which causes candidiasis and yeast in a lot of people today. So, again, coconut oil effective at killing bad bacteria, yeast, and candida. So just doing one tablespoon a day has been proven effective. Also, coconut oil naturally boosts testosterone levels or balances hormones in both men and in women. Why did it increase testosterone in men in the study? Well, they found that it reduces oxidative stress. So if you're stressed out, it increases the hormone cortisol, which can drive down your hormone testosterone men. Well, consuming coconut oil protect your, protected your body against that stress, which kept your testosterone and human growth hormone high. So you're stronger, you're leaner, you have more energy, you age slower men. And for women, it was proven to also reduce stress, so help naturally balance those hormones, keep your cortisol levels low. So women, you look healthier, younger, longer, massive benefits there. Also, coconut has been proven effective to balance out your lipid levels, your HDL and LDL cholesterol. It's been shown to increase HDL cholesterol, which improves your heart health, and actually can also naturally reduce LDL cholesterol. So it's great for anybody who's trying to fight heart disease. Number seven reason you should be getting coconut oil every single day is it increases nutrient absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. If you're wanting to get more vitamin D in your body, if you're wanting to get more vitamin A, vitamin E for anti-aging, prostate health, wound healing, fighting cancer, coconut oil actually helps with fat-soluble nutrient absorption. And last but not least, coconut oil has medically been proven to improve bone health because it increases collagen production in your bones. So again, if you want to get the incredible benefits of coconut and coconut oil, I want to give you the tips on how I get them in my diet every day. For breakfast, I get coconut by putting coconut milk in a berry smoothie every morning for breakfast, about a fourth of a can. Or I cook up a veggie omelet and coconut oil. Uh, in the afternoon, sometimes I'll eat a snack mix with coconut flakes. That's another great way I get my coconut for dinner. Anytime I'm sauteing vegetables up, I use coconut oil. But I use coconut flakes on a regular basis, coconut oil on a regular basis, coconut milk on a regular basis. And again, what's, what are the benefits going to be? Fat burning, brain health 
heart health, reducing bad bacteria, balancing hormones. Those are the eight medically based reasons why you should consume coconut oil every single day. Hey, this has been Dr. Axe with DrAxe.com. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to spread the health, you want to help other people enjoy the benefits of coconut oil. Thought provoking, always smoking. Lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Muta Baruka. Aizal wa Aizal and a vegan wa vegan. I and I eat from the earth and leave the animals to give birth. No deaders, no fur, no feathers. When I tell people I don't eat strangely, they don't realize I eat a wide variety. Listen to Makabe. They found 30 square meters of tarpaulin, a four and a half meter long hose, a nine meter long plastic rope, and two flower pots. How is this possible? On average, a European uses and disposes of more than 100 kilograms of plastic per year. The large part of plastic waste ends up on huge landfills or in the sea. Today, more than 100 million tons of plastic is drifting around the oceans. Due to particular currents in the Pacific Ocean, a new continent has been born. A mass of plastic waste the size of Europe. In some areas of the oceans, there is up to 60 times as much plastic as there is plankton. Because plastic does not rot, it lasts up to 500 years. Through exposure to sun, wind, and water, plastic is broken down into microscopic parts. These plastic particles can absorb high concentrations of agricultural and industrial toxins. Many animals mistake the plastic for plankton and eat their fill. Every year more than 100,000 turtles, marine mammals and seabirds die a slow and painful death because they starve with a full stomach or because their intestines rupture. Other marine creatures in whose cells plastic and toxins have accumulated end up as seafood on our plates. The smallest form of plastic are microplastics. They are added to cosmetics, shower gels and toothpastes. A tube of toothpaste contains up to 10% microplastics. The sewage plants cannot filter microplastics, so they too end up in the sea. In the making of plastic, hazardous chemicals are used in order to enhance elasticity of fire resistance. Bisphenol A, plasticizers or flame retardants are contained in almost every plastic product. Through exposure to heat, the wrong detergents, or simply over time, plastic will go brittle, thus releasing these chemicals, which in turn, through the airways, ingestion, or through mere touch, find their way into the human body. The consequences are severe. They include increased risk of cancer, asthma, infertility, and developmental disorders. The plastic industry tries to cover up any scandals and runs a gigantic lobbying campaign in order to prevent stricter laws or inquiries. Plastic factories are veritable fortresses. The plastic production process a tightly kept secret. This is one of the reasons why no one is exactly sure what substances are added to the plastic. Over the course of the last 10 years, only 11 chemical substances could be analyzed out of a total of 100,000 possible additives. But there is hope yet. Intelligent robot nets, or fishing boats, converted to floating recycling factories, are intended to cleanse the oceans. Bioplastic, made of maize or starch, could replace conventional plastic. However, its production consumes valuable food, so it's no solution for satisfying the global demand for plastic. This is why you must radically change your consumption behavior. Pay attention to the packaging of products. Substitute paper or cloth bags for plastic bags. Don't throw away old plastic, but recycle it and use plastic-free products. Are we going to allow the destruction of the earth to continue? If we act now, there may still be hope for future generations before the miracle material definitely turns on its creator. Thought-provoking, always smoking.
Lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Muta Baruka. Hi, today we're going to talk about 14 foods that cleanse the liver. When the liver is taxed, it can process toxins and fat in an efficient way. There are many foods that can help cleanse the liver naturally by stimulating the natural ability to clean toxic waste from the body. Eating the following foods is the best way to keep your liver healthy and functioning the way you need it to. Number one, garlic. Just a small amount has the ability to activate liver enzymes which help your body flush out toxins. Garlic also holds high amounts of allicin and selenium, two natural compounds that aid in liver cleansing. Number two, grapefruit. It's high in vitamin C and antioxidants and has the natural cleansing ability to support the liver. Grapefruit juice helps boost the production of liver detoxification enzymes and helps flush out carcinogens and other toxins. Number three, beets and carrots both extremely high in plant flavonoids and beta carotene. This helps stimulate and improve overall liver function. Number four, green tea. This liver-loving beverage is full of plant antioxidants and catechins, a constituent known to assist the liver's overall function. Number five, leafy green vegetables, one of the most powerful allies in cleansing the liver. that can be eaten raw, cooked, or juiced. High in plant chlorophylls, greens literally suck up environmental toxins from the bloodstream and the body. They eliminate and neutralize chemicals and pesticides and are powerful protective mechanisms for the liver. Number six, avocados. This nutrient superfood helps the body produce glutathione, which is necessary for the liver to cleanse harmful toxins. Recent studies show that avocados greatly improve liver health. Number seven, apples. They're high in pectin. Apples hold the chemical constituents needed for the body to cleanse and release toxins from the digestive tract. This makes it easier for the liver to handle the toxic load during the cleansing process. Number eight, olive oil. Cold pressed organic oils such as olive oil, hemp seed oil, flaxseed oil are great for the liver. When used in moderation, they help the body produce a lipid base that can suck up harmful toxins. In this way, it takes some of the burden off the liver in terms of the toxic overload that many of us suffer from. Number nine, whole grains. Grains such as brown rice, which are rich in B-complex vitamins, improve the overall fat metabolization and liver function, as well as liver congestion. Number ten. Cruciferous vegetables will add necessary enzyme production in the liver and support it. These natural enzymes will help flush out carcinogens and other toxins from the body. Number 11, lemons and limes. These citrus fruits contain high amounts of vitamin C, which aids the body in synthesizing toxic material into substances that can be absorbed by water. Drinking freshly squeezed lemon or lime juice mixed in water in the morning will help stimulate your liver. Number 12, walnuts. Holding high amounts of the amino acid arginine, walnuts aid the liver by detoxifying ammonia. They also support glutathione production in the liver. Number 13, cabbage. Much like broccoli and cauliflower, eating cabbage will help stimulate the activation of two crucial liver detoxifying enzymes that also help the liver flush out toxins. Number 14, turmeric. The liver's favorite spice. Turmeric helps boost liver detox by assisting the enzymes again that actively flush out known dietary carcinogens. Other liver cleansing foods are artichokes, asparagus, kale, and Brussels sprouts. Eating the 14 foods listed above is a great way to keep your liver functioning properly. However, for best results, I would recommend doing a liver cleanse. Doing a liver cleanse at least two to three times a year will eliminate any foreign substances that you may have trapped inside of your liver. To find out the best liver and gallbladder cleanse program, go to globalhealingcenter.com. Let us stand and defend this one. Peace and love. Thank you.
Millions of people don't reach us all. So be grateful. Yeah, man, be grateful, Rasta. Trust me, man. Trust me. And I and let you know that you are grateful. Man, call Kidos I. Must have time to get hard. I won't get so hard. no, man. Hard. Yeah, especially I select the music. Them, you know, if you notice, oh, where do the thing? Yes, we are, we are doing the thing how it's supposed to do. We are select it in a context. The other side of the party was up to you in this time. He's so high talking to you and he never said a thing. Hey, oh, you should never dare to throw me down. Never dare to hold or throw me down. If you throw me down. I tell you, say, more want yell up the hundreds, I mean hundreds of WhatsApp message me get for my birthday. Yeah, man. Me really feel good for no say so much people remember. I mean, I have to shout it out on a poster. <laughs> but I have to put my birthday on a poster. I say, Muta Baruka, Earth Strong, Muta Baruka, birthday bash. So much people, may I tell you, man, I feel overwhelmed. Yeah, man, even I feel satisfied. It's like a gift. Yeah, man, for hundreds of people, I send you WhatsApp, man, so say happy birthday and email all over the world, too. You know, I mean, I talk about just Jamaica, all over the world. So we give thanks. We give thanks for all the people who listen to the program. Give thanks for that. And you know, I was see my name on a post and say, Muta Baruka birthday bash. No, we're going to just go and do it. We usually keep parties still, you know, but I can't tell them, I say, no, you know, so the party couldn't keep. Maybe if we didn't have a yacht, if we didn't have a yacht, we'd have keep the party out there like the big people, them in Jamaica now. Come come. Keep them party on the yacht and go on, like, say, them not under no restrictions, like, get to people. 
You know, see, ghetto people, party get mash up, but them no go out there no police boat, pan the yacht them, for charge of people if you keep party with more than how much people supposed to do there. You remember when the thing did that spike? And what did I tell them, say, the people them up, up, up um, Cherry Gals and Jacks Hill, I keep party in them house. And go on like say them not keep no party. And some of them go on a Portland in them yacht and them things that them never hear we. But them people that have spread it too. Them people that have spread it. And now is them looks like Christmas time. And them go on pan them yacht. Meanwhile, get up people that have no yacht for go pan. More than maybe pan top of them house cap. And I keep party and police go to go lick them up and box them up and all them something there. Terrible. You know? So it go. The race is not for the swift, not the battle for the strong. It's who can endure to the end. Chronics and Shaggy. Bet you'd never know. You didn't have a come down back. <laughs> Some people never know. See them up there. And them can't come down back, you know. So watch how you burn your bridge. Don't burn your bridge in the blind, you know. I've got another song where I address that matter too. So we are continuing, you know. We are continuing because the message is in the music too. The message is in the music. But that is that the outlaw, them is the man them who make the law. <laughs> the man them who make the law is really the outlaw. And you see them, you know, but you know, see them because it's them control and manipulate the society where we find ourselves in. Our. That's why we have to more and more stick to each other. Yes, because the outlaw no care for we. Them no care for we. Them are the pirate. Them people always say Africa is the richest continent, but them are the poorest people. So we did make history, but what are we doing now for the present? That is real, we must contend with. You know, there was a time in, a, in a Jamaica, in Negril. Negril was almost like a different island. This up half of our people is seat. In the late 60s and early 70s. Only people used to flock to Negril. So Negril was not seen as part of Jamaica. Because that is where all the movie stars and the big singers and all these people used to go. Till I'm so, here we know. You ever notice you have some little youth where them just can't stay still? Them just stay all over the place? The weirdest thing is when I'm in an airport and see some little youth are run up and down and the mother say, Come back here, come sit down. And the little youth are run further, they have to get up and run on the youth and bring them back. Put them in the chair and say, Don't move. And the youth just fidgety, you know, when you're fidgety, yes, you're fidgety. You have a whole heap of youth in Jamaica where you can't, them can't stay still. Sit down there and don't move. Them just all over the place. Well, more than likely, the cause of that whole heap of hyperactivity is because you're feeding them on too much sugar. Yes, you're feeding them on too much sugar. Sugar is one of the, the things them where get the youth them hyperactive. Whole heap of sweet and Thing where each of them teeth, MMM and QOT and oh, 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 all of these things, and then them grab them yard again. You have to give them drinks, a whole heap of sugar. And apart from sugar, is one of the main cause of our ancestors dying because we were enslaved to work this sugar mills and the sugar plantation. Because the Europeans was addicted to rum and sugar. Sugar is a drug. Yes, sugar is a drug. Rum is a drug. And the Europeans was very addicted. So they have to get people to work in the sun because they couldn't take the sun. So they go to Africa and bring us across here. And we work on the plantation. Now sugar is a very dangerous thing. I want the people them know that. I mean, you know, people can tell me, say, but me, I eat it long time and nothing wrong with me. That is what you are saying. That is what you are saying. 
You understand? And the youth, them now, we show up more now because most of the things that we eat have sugar in there. And it is creating that hyperactivity where get a whole heap of parents miserable when them can't control the picnic. Especially those of them who them don't want to run up and down. Them lift them up and put them on the man and the picnic just go on all sort of way. Sugar, dangerous, dangerous drug. The less sugar you eat, is the better you'll be able to control. Well, at least the, the, the less sugar you give your picnic, is the better you'll be able to control them. I want to control them. I don't mean like how the government want to control we. We are talking about control in relationship to parents and child. But guess what? The parents, them are different. Because the parents, them, if the picnic start to ball, them put some little sugar thing in their mouth. And them go look for something where sugar if you eat too. It's a weird thing. Sugar cause a whole heap of breakdown in your body. And sugar is not easily assimilated in your body. Not very assimilated in your body. Sugar is a dangerous drug. One well, of the people them know that. Sugar don't assimilate in your body quick enough. If you don't do something to you. Because by the time it assimilates in your body, it already do it damage already. So, yes, we just have said that as a little anecdote for about, about sugar. We're going to continue this little clip here. Top 10 clips. cancer causing foods you should avoid. Number 10. Pickled and smoked foods. Pickled and smoked foods are delicious, but at the same time, very harmful to the body. In fact, smoked meats that pick up tar from the smoking process cause extreme harm to your body. Plus, most pickled foods contain nitrates that turn into N nitroso, which increases your risk of cancer. Moreover, they contain preservatives to prolong shelf life, which can accumulate in your body over time. This can cause damage at the cellular level and lead to cancer and other diseases. Smoked foods are high in fat and, when cooked at high temperatures, the nitrates are converted to nitrites, which is even more harmful to the body. Try to avoid pickled and smoked foods as much as possible. Number 9. Processed or red meat. Processed meats such as ham, sausage, and bacon have chemicals and preservatives like sodium nitrates, which make them bad for your health. In addition, processed meat contains excessive salt, which is also not good for you. In a 2008 study published in the Nutrition and Cancer Journal, researchers found that processed meat intake might be involved in the etiology of colorectal cancer. More shocking statistics shared by the Organic Consumers Association reveal hot dogs commonly contain sodium nitride, a cancer-causing ingredient the USDA has been trying to ban since the 1970s. Leukemia risk soared a staggering 700% with hot dog consumption. Look for meats free of nitrites to help reduce your risk with these cancer-causing foods. Along with processed meat, you must avoid excessive intake of red meat that can lead to higher risks of colon and prostate cancer. Number 8 Refined white flour Refined white flour contains excess carbohydrates that are not good for your health and even increase the risk of cancer. During the milling process, white flour is bleached with chlorine gas, which is highly toxic for the body. In fact, studies have shown that excess carbohydrate intake increases the risk of breast cancer among women. In addition, White flour has a high glycemic rate that rapidly raises blood sugar levels. A spike in blood sugar promotes cancer cell growth and spreading. Instead of using refined white flour, try some healthier options like whole wheat, almond, quinoa or barley flour. You can use these flours for baking or making breads. Number 7 Refined and Artificial Sugars Refined sugar, artificial sweeteners, and fructose-rich sweeteners like high-fructose corn syrup are not good for your health. 
These products tend to rapidly spike insulin levels and feed the growth of cancer cells. According to a 2006 study published in the American Society for Clinical Nutrition Journal, high intake of sugar and sugar-sweetened foods increases the risk of pancreatic cancer. Instead of using refined sugar or artificial sweeteners, you can try alternatives like honey, jaggery, blackstrap molasses, maple syrup to sweeten any dish. Number 6. Canned Tomatoes Canned foods allow you to enjoy your favorite vegetables throughout the year. However, if you are concerned about your health, avoid canned food, especially canned tomatoes. The cans used to pack tomatoes and other foods are lined with a product called bisphenol A, BPA, an endocrine disruptor that may mimic or disrupt hormones and increase the risks for breast cancer, prostate cancer, early puberty, metabolic disorders, infertility, and several other problems. When it comes to canned foods, canned tomatoes are more harmful to your health due to their high acidity which allows the BPA from the can lining to soak into the tomatoes easily. Be safe and avoid cans. Cook fresh or buy glass bottles. Number 5. Potato Chips Potato chips are deep fried in temperatures above 120 degrees Celsius, which causes them to create a material called acrylamide, a well-known carcinogen found in cigarettes. According to a 2006 study published in the International Journal of Cancer, dietary acrylamide puts you at a higher risk of ovarian, prostate, digestive tract and breast cancers. Potato chips are also high in fat and calories, which contribute to unhealthy weight gain, high cholesterol, high blood pressure and other health problems. Instead of eating potato chips, you can also try banana chips, which are much healthier than regular potato chips. Number 4. Genetically Modified Foods Genetically Modified Foods GMOs, are a rapidly growing industry and have made their way into the majority of our foods like corn, potatoes, grains, and soybeans. Such food products are grown using harmful chemicals and, when consumed, can lead to immune system, brain, and liver damage. After GMOs were introduced in 1996, GM vegetables fed to rats caused development of horrifying tumors. One of the biggest culprits was GM bovine growth hormone found in milk. Stay away from these silent killers and choose certified organic, non-GMO verified and locally grown foods that are produced without biotechnology. Number 3. Hydrogenated Oils Hydrogenated oils are vegetable oils, which cannot be naturally extracted like olive oil, soy, or canola oil. They are chemically extracted from vegetables and is again chemically treated to change the smell and taste. This process turns unsaturated fat into a stable solid fat, resulting in trans fatty hydrogenated oil which is considered to be the worst type of fat and is known to cause cancer, heart disease, and immune system problems. Those who consume the most trans fats through hydrogenated oils have a 25% higher risk of death than those who consume the least. You must never cook with hydrogenated oil. Instead, use extra virgin olive oil, extra virgin coconut oil or palm oil. Number 2. Farmed Salmon Farmed salmon is nowhere near as healthy as wild salmon, and eating farmed salmon puts you at a higher risk of developing cancer. Farm-raised fish are fed unnatural diets and contaminated with chemicals, antibiotics, pesticides, and other known carcinogens found in materials like asbestos. A 2004 study published in Science Magazine revealed that farmed salmon has significantly higher levels of cancer-causing and other health-related contaminants, such as polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBS, dioxins, and toxaphene as compared to wild salmon. Next time when you buy salmon, make sure it is labeled as wild. Number 1. Microwave Popcorn 
Microwave popcorn bags are lined with perfluoroctanoic acid, a compound that has been linked to various types of cancer, including liver, testicular and pancreatic cancer. In fact, a couple of years ago a Colorado court awarded a man a $7.2 million settlement for popcorn lung which is a lung condition from inhaling too much microwave popcorn. To reduce your risk of exposure to these chemicals, air pop your popcorn and add your own flavoring instead. Thanks for watching. To watch more, subscribe to GNEXT Group. Thought provoking, always smoking. Lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Muta Baruka. Yes, junk food fooling up the place. You know, it's a disgrace. That serious thing is a disgrace, of course. Junk food. Terrible thing for the people them. Come like the gunman them. Run your mouth, put your belly, my mouth. What are your friends? Drop, drop, drop. Philip Woolen. King Lear, late at night on the cliffs, asks the blind Earl of Gloucester, how do you see the world? And the blind man Gloucester replies, I see it feelingly. And shouldn't we all? Animals must be off the menu because tonight they are screaming in terror in the slaughterhouses, in crates, and in cages. Vile, ignoble gulags of despair. You see, I heard the screams of my dying father as his body was ravaged by the cancer that killed him. And I realized I'd heard those screams before. In the slaughterhouse, their eyes stabbed out and their tendons slashed on the cattle ships to the Middle East, and the dying mother wail as a harpoon explodes in her brain as she calls out to her calf. Their cries were the cries of my father. And I discovered that when we suffer, we suffer as equals. And in their capacity to suffer, a dog is a pig, is a bear, is a boy. Meat today is the new asbestos, more modris than tobacco. CO2, methane, and nitrous oxide from the livestock industry are killing our oceans with acidic, hypoxic dead zones. 90% of small fish are ground up into pellets to feed to livestock. Vegetarian cows today are the world's largest ocean predators. The oceans are dying in our time. By 2048, all our fisheries will be dead, the lungs and the arteries of the earth. Billions of bouncy little chicks are ground up alive simply because they are male. Only 100 billion people have ever lived. 7 billion people live today. And yet we torture and kill 2 billion sentient living beings every week. 10,000 entire species are wiped out every year because of the actions of one. And we are now facing the sixth mass extinction in cosmological history. If any other organism did this, a biologist would call them a virus. It is a crime against humanity of unimaginable proportions. But happily, the world is changing. Ten years ago, Twitter was a bird sound. WWW was a stuck keyboard. Cloud was in the sky. 4G was a parking space. Google was a baby's burp. Skype was a typo. And Al-Qaeda was my plumber. <laughs> Victor Hugo said, there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Well, animal rights today is now the greatest social justice issue since the abolition of slavery. Do you know there are over 600 million vegetarians in this world? And that is bigger than the United States, England, France, Germany, Spain, Italy, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, all put together. If we were one nation, we would be bigger than the 27 nations of the European Union. 
Can you believe that? And despite this massive demographic footprint, we are still drowned out by the raucous, hunting, shooting, killing cartels who believe that violence is the answer when it should not even be a question. Meat kills animals, kills us, and is killing our economies. Medicare has already bankrupted the United States. They will need $8 trillion invested in Treasury bills just to pay the interest, and they have precisely zero. They could shut down every school, Army, Navy, Air Force, Homeland Security, Marines, CIA, and FBI, and they still will not have the money to pay their doctor bills. And our Cornell and Harvard say that the optimum amount of meat in a healthy human diet is precisely zero. Water, as you know, is the new oil. Nations will soon be going to war for it. Underground aquifers that took millions of years to fill are now running dry. It takes 50,000 liters of precious drinking water to make one kilo of beef. Today, one billion people are hungry. 20 million people will die from malnutrition. Cutting meat by only 10% will feed 100 million people, and eliminating meat will end starvation forever. If everyone ate a Western diet, we would need two planet Earths to feed us. We've only got one, and she is dying. Greenhouse gas emissions from livestock is 50% greater than transport, as Peter said. Cars, trains, buses, ships, lorries, the whole lot. And as I travel around the world, I see poor countries who sell their grain to the West while their own children starve in their arms. And the West feeds it to livestock so we can eat a steak? Am I the only one who sees this as a crime? Believe me, every morsel of meat we eat is slapping the tear-stained face of a hungry child. When I look into her eyes, do I remain silent? The earth can produce enough food for everyone's need, but not enough for everyone's greed. We are facing the perfect storm. If any nation had developed weapons that could wreak such havoc on the planet, we would launch a preemptive military strike and bomb it back into the Bronze Age. But it's not a rogue state. It's an industry. Our dining tables. Weapons of mass destruction are our knives and forks. Our proposition is the Swiss Army knife of the future. It solves our environmental, water, human health problems and ends cruelty forever. The Stone Age didn't end because we ran out of stones. This cruel, disgusting industry will end because we run out of excuses. Meat is like the one and two cent coins. It costs more to make than it's worth. And I come from the bush. Farmers are the ones with the most to gain. Farming won't end, it would boom. Only the product line will change. Farmers would make so much money, they won't even bother counting it, and I'd be the first to applaud them. Governments would love us. New industries would emerge and flourish. Ins health insurance premiums would plummet. Hospital waiting lists would disappear. Hell, we'd be so healthy, we'd have to shoot someone just to start a cemetery. <laughs> so tonight I have two challenges for the opposition. Two challenges. Meat causes a wide range of cancers and heart disease. Would they name one disease caused by a vegetarian diet? And two, I'm funding the Earthlings Trilogy. <clears throat> If the opposition is so sure of their ground, I challenge them to send a copy of the Earthlings DVD to all their colleagues and all their customers. Go on, I dare you. Animals are not just other species, they are other nations, and we murder them at our peril. The peace map is drawn on a menu. Peace is not just the absence of war, it is the presence of justice. Justice must be blind to race, color, religion, or species. If she's not blind, she will be a weapon of terror.
And tonight, there is unimaginable terror in those ghastly Guantanamos we call factory farms or slaughterhouses. Believe me, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, we wouldn't be having this debate tonight. You see, I believe another world is possible. And on a quiet night, I can hear her breathing. Let's get animals off the menu and out of these torture chambers. Please vote tonight for those who have no voice. Thank you. First man I do it. I need come over this big. Actually, I call Rastafari and him in my mouth. And him friend, they brought him and say, Yeah, man, how you mean? Rastafari and I'm poor. And Ray, 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 Ray. And me, I say, You see that now? You see that now? I mean, I never see not like that yet. I mean, I know Rastafari who will speak still. But I never actually see a man who I call Rastafari in my mouth. With a pig tie up, and he might have the pig tail you know, without the head, you know. He might have the pig without the head, time and it up tight up there by the back foot. And he might show up about Rasta this and Rasta that and Rasta that. Tell the man, stay away. So we are continuing to run, we are continuing to run. Staggering what you can get out of a yogurt. Pig. Yes, I have a list. Christian Meinderstma wrote a book called Pig 05049, which is an anonymous pig. And beyond the obvious foodstuffs, she found different parts of this animal offered the following pork derivatives. From the skin alone, safety gloves, cosmetic surgery, collagen, comes from pig skin, oh. energy bars, which also have collagen in, low fat butter, chewing gum, x ray film. Drug capsules, bread, flour improver made from pig hair, would you believe? Yeah. Flour, I know. The skin is also used for tattoo practice. Um, <laughs> and ballistic gelatin. That's just the skin, and then there's the internal organs, pet food, um, tambourine skins are made from a pig's bladder. Tam for the old uh, tambourine. I knew uh, those folkies were evil. Yeah. <laughs> There are many thousands of people who are alive because of a pig's valve from their heart. From the bones, cheap wine corks, would you believe? Stabilizing propellant and bullet making, inkjet paper, concrete. Hey, we have to stop this, you know. <laughs> we have to stop this. We have to stop this and we have to play it again. All the things, them, well, not all, but a whole heap of things where we never know, say, come from some part of the pig. Yes. A whole heap of things where a whole heap of one never know say come from parts of piggy. Because you have someone who was about him, none of them piggy, none of them guy in a certain 
Chinese restaurant go buy party. <laughs> yes. So here we go. We will play it forward. Here we go. Absolutely staggering what you can get out of yogurt. Game. Yes, I have a list. Christian Mind Asthma wrote a book called Pig 05049, which is an anonymous pig. And beyond the obvious foodstuffs, she found different parts of this animal offered the following pork derivatives. From the skin alone, safety gloves, cosmetic surgery, collagen, comes from pig skin, oh. energy bars, which also have collagen in, low-fat butter, chewing gum, x-ray film, drug capsules, bread, flour improver made from pig hair, would you believe? Oh. Flour, I know. The skin is also used for tattoo practice. Um, <laughs> and ballistic gelatin. That's just the skin, and then there's the internal organs, pet food, um, tambourine skins are made from a pig's bladder. Tam from your old uh, tambourine. I knew uh, those folkies were evil. Yeah. <laughs> Thousands of people were alive because of the pig's valve from their heart. From the bones, cheap wine corks, would you believe? Stabilizing propellant and bullet making, inkjet paper, concrete, match heads, uh, bone china, train brakes, yogurt, which you correctly mentioned. What's a train break? Like, it's well, stopping stop a train. For the yeah, it's stopping it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a trotter out. He just, he just leans forward. A fabric softener. Who knew? Beer, wine, ice cream. From the fat, biodiesel, soap, shampoos, crayons. Uh, from the blood, cigarette filters, amazingly. <laughs> so, we're kind of spurring on for the new year. I hope that you, if you're never bright, just get bright. And if you're bright, no, stay bright. Because that is really where life is consist of at least the good and the bad, the up and the down. And sometimes even at the down, you can see some little hope of salvation. So we don't want to get jumpy and nervous and frustrated because there's better days to come. We see in a Jamaica where the gunman them kill more people than COVID. But we don't see the same trust by the government towards getting rid of dual heap of gun them on the street. We don't see that. Every day we hear about how much people dead and how much people get better and how much people have it. The crime rate in Jamaica increase most countries decrease because of the covid this year but in jamaica the crime rate increase and we see them put out a, a, a crime statistics that are there and that was a month and a half ago i mean i said a minus 25 minus 25 meaning say at the time when them take that it was 25 people less dead murder this year but that was like a month and a half ago you know how much people get murdered from that time until now so it's something where we have to really reflect on and think on why is it that jamaican people are killed jamaican people just like that just like that a man just chop up all them brother you know them say them can't find the hand on the foot or the hand on the foot you know it's like everybody just had it's like a thing. It's like some new gun come to town, and now. Every man have a gun. Everyone have a gun. Every youth have a gun now. Because that is in penis now, you know. He feel powerful. You understand? He can't talk to him again. And anything we want, he can get it by using the gun. And if a man did turn up on him tour ten years ago, now he can show you, say, oh, he shouldn't turn up on me tour, you know. And him go for the man. And him go to see the man and sit down with her, some other man and play all domino and load it. And him just fire shot wildly and kill the other people. Them and the man where him go for just miss. Miss the bullet. It's a terrible thing. But meanwhile, back at home, the COVID really, I carry mine without the saw. I carry mine without the saw. 
And all the people don't know nobody who have COVID. Just like all the people don't know nobody get, who, who nobody get shot by gun. That don't mean that the two of them don't exist. Because you don't know nobody who have COVID. It don't mean say nobody don't have COVID and is a hoax. And because you, know, you feel, you know, you know, know nobody who get shot and killed. It don't mean say nobody don't get shot and killed. So we have to open our eyes and our heart, our mind, our conscience, our consciousness. This is not the time to sleep. And when I say sleep, I don't mean physically go to your bed, but we are talking about inside of your consciousness. We need to understand clearer who we are, where we are, and what is our purpose in this time as African people. And we can't keep re-lagging and re-lagging and lagging, lagging back on where the Egyptian them used to do and where the Ghanaian Empire used to do. We have to figure out what are we doing now. I mean, we have to talk about history because history is where you decide where you're going and where you're coming from. But we have to really figure out now our time. Black people pray too much. Pray to unseen thing we don't know about and talk about L and F and all them something there. When we should be doing, doing, doing like other nations. The same God where my preach is the same God the white man pray to and make himself become powerful. Yet still we can't afford now for pay to the white man God because the white man God is for the white man. You know, see, the white man God will help him. We have to find ourselves in a different concept and a different relationship with each other. That is really what it is all about. In a long time, I just from them time, blood, blood on your hands. So we give thanks, you know, we give thanks that you come with me so far from January to December. You're there with me last Wednesday of the year, last cutting edge for the year. You know, so we're going to come forward a little more from 2 o'clock to 5.45 with the stepping razor, the art of war. Different, different, different vibes. So I hope you'll join us. We want to give thanks, you know. We want to give thanks to Shane Clark, who from we left RFM, he has been the captain of the ship. Steering it, steering it without itches. We love it. We love no itch. <laughs> no itch. Why, heal up Nigel, who they are with you from the ship start to sail as a mechanic and the engineer. May I tell you, the man know him work, man. Yeah, man, him know him work. Uh, the, you know, we're glad, sir. We get to meet him. The man, they were very we, 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 we glad for meet when we meet. You know, when you're glad for meet a person, well, Nigel is one of them man we were glad for meet. He shows so much things. So much things. You understand? We give thanks for that. You know, so Shamara asleep, but Shamara helped with you. The COVID had to open the program, uh, but it seems as if she gone upstairs now, on the other side. <laughs> I don't say she didn't hear me, but we give thanks for her because she, she stand up with me. She stand up with me, man. So, you we say no. Why take care of yourself? Take care of yourself. And be happy. Be happy. That's why you were most New Year's Eve party party the the step the cut to the gyro. <laughs> I had a week I realized but rated Wednesday the day before New Year's Eve. So we have to go just settle with the Thursday of the day. But I could have sworn that Wednesday was New Year's Eve, man. Believe you me, cause we'll have some serious party music to play, you know. Yeah man. But that don't mean that we're not going to play tomorrow, even though I'm there. We want to hear up all the people who love here when we play music, you know. Yeah, we want to hear up the people who say, boy, I'm out of here, you know, when you play music, you know, yes. Then you can't lose me.
Now. I know. Brand new xylophone where I drop your first time playing anywhere, any anywhere, yes. Uh, let me tell you. And yes, my friend. Right. And bring come show me. I will record it. We record it when? Uh, to the hour, 2020, 2019. <laughs> we record it till 2019, you know. I never release it. Because we'll have the next one we we'll release. Brand new xylophone, you know. Yes. They had to turn 